Hey guys, what is going on? Dylan here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Imperious Sunshell, which is the new ghost from the new Vow of the Disciple raid. It is linked to this triumph here, Vow of the Disciple lore books. Basically, you have to do this 10 times. You have to unlock a lore book 10 separate times. Now, you can do this in the Vow of the Disciple raid itself, or what I found to be much easier because I was doing it solo, you can do it through the preservation uh, mission there. Um, it's the exact same encounter, it takes you to the exact same room, so you can do it through either one. So, for those of you that aren't familiar with the preservation mission or the beginning part of the raid, I am going to leave in this part so that you can see what to do and how to get to it. Um, so, you're going to kill the Sabathun projection uh, just like normal, and then you're going to make your way along this pathing. So, now I will say, the when you get to the room that you have to go to, there is a code uh, for, it's four sets of three. The top two symbols for each code is not going to change. I'll go over that when we actually get to that room. The only thing that is going to change on that is the bottom different uh, symbols every time. So once you make your way over here, uh, you're going to get some enemies to spawn. Now, the reason I like to do preservation here is because only one abomination will spawn instead of three. And once you kill that abomination, you're going to grab these nodes on the ground, getting that knowledge buff. And you want to input it into that machine in the middle. And you want to do that with nine separate nodes. Uh, per area and then there's gonna be five areas where you have to do this so that's five abominations that's uh, 45 nodes um, and so once you do that it'll take you to the pyramid and then you'll go ahead and enter through the pyramid and you'll run all the way to the room that you have to go to um, you could probably get this down to about 10 to 15 minutes like 15 minutes being the max when you know how to do everything and where to go um, it's, it's, it's a little time consuming if you're doing it from scratch, you haven't done this at all yet, and you're doing all 10 in one go, uh, but it's really not bad, all things considered, and it is a very cool looking ghost. So, what you want to do is you want to get to Acquisition. That's this area here, and you'll get to this room. There's symbols on your left, but you want to go to the right here. There's actually a window that you can jump through right here. And when you jump through this window, turn around, and there's your code. That is the code. It is different every single time. Uh, the only thing that changes, though, are those bottom four uh, symbols. So what these symbols mean is it means the top symbol is always going to be Guardian, which is you, the player. The next symbol, the second one, is the action required. So enter means melee. Commune means to activate or hold X on it or F or whatever your platform is. And then the bottom one is going to be, or, uh, is going to be shoot and kill and so then the the changing symbols on the bottom those are going to change every playthrough those are the ones that you need to do said combination for so in this scenario it means guardian is going to melee that kill on the bottom guardian is going to melee the give guardian is going to commune or activate the fleet and guardian is going to shoot ascendant plane and you're going to do this with those different symbols all 10 times and it's that's all you do that's really all you do um, to actually set the password in stone, you're actually going to melee the first symbol again. So right here, I get rid of my charge melee because you're just using a normal old melee. And I'm going to run over to the kill here. And so you just do exactly what I do. Those, those, It's always going to be melee, melee, uh, commune, and then shoot. Always. Um, so I meleeed the first two. You come over here, and then we're going to activate now the fleet. And the last one is always going to be shoot. And shoot a send plane. Now to lock it in, you're gonna go back to the first symbol and then you're gonna melee it, and that locks in that path or that code, and then you would get a triumph every single time. And that's all there is to it. You just do that ten times. And like I said, every time it'll be different four symbols on the bottom, but you but the melee, the melee, the commune, and shoot will be the same every single time. So do that ten times, and there is your Imperious Sun shell. And then so I'm just going to look at it here. It's a really cool looking shell. Whenever it pops up, there it is. It's a really nice looking shell. It's got this little animated feature to it. Um, I throw it in here. I like calluses selected on everything. And there you go. That's a nice looking shell right there. Uh, so really easy to do, guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. Leave a like, subscribe. And um, yeah, that's all I really got for you. So I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.